Now, Biden went full um, Darth Vader, full Republic, full Hitler the other day in a speech to the American people. Uh, you probably see these images getting around uh, with the red background. He did have a, it will, was red, white, and blue, but uh, you think you'd do a little bit of research on the topic of, uh, I don't know, maybe bad political uh, speeches first. Over 74 million Americans voted for the pre uh, former President Donald Trump in 2020, and according to Joe Biden, they are a present and clear they present, sorry, a clear and present danger to our democracy and a threat to this country. That sounds fucking awesome, doesn't it? Now, speaking in the front of the dark red lights and a pair of Marines, Biden delivered a speech titled Battled for the Soul of the Nation. Outside the American Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on September 1st. Fewer than 10 sentences into his speech, the President of the United States declared that equality and democracy are under threat. We do ourselves no favor to pretend otherwise, he said. But tonight, I've come to this place where it all began to speak as plainly as I can to the nation about the threat we face, about the power we have in our hands to meet these threats, and the incredible future that lies in front of us. If only we choose it. The president continued. We shall have a thousand year break! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Different speech. Different die. Uh, Biden went on to say that his work of the presidency is to build an America that is no, that is more prosperous, free, and just. Yeah, so free. They have so much freedom there. It's they're so free at the moment. The president asked America to be honest with each other and ourselves. No one in the White House has been honest in the last nearly two years. Too much of what's happening in our country today is not normal. Yes, like dictator -y kind of speeches. At this point, Biden took aim at the Americans who voted for his political opponent in the 2020 election, branding them extremists. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. Holy shit, I am getting like Hitler vibes. That is why pedo Hitler is uh, trending on Twitter right now. Pedo Hitler. That's, uh, that's, I've never heard a president be called that, but, um, we'll roll with it, shall we? That's fucking fantastic. That's the, the trajectory of the United States over the next couple of years is just fucking, it's going off. It's going off. Biden added the caveat that he's now talking about mainstream Republicans who are willing to work with him on his democratic policies. I want to be very clear, very clear up front. Not every Republican, not every majority of Republicans are MAGA Republicans. <clears throat> not every Republican embraces their existence, uh, embraces their extreme ideology. I know because I've been able to work with these mainstream Republic Republicans. They're not mainstream. They're extremists either. Like, fuck me dead. Just because they... Want to make America great again? Like, Jesus Christ. Biden continued, but there is no question that the Republican Party today is dominated, driven, and intimidated by the Donald Trump and MAGA Republicans, and that is a threat to, the, to this country. These are hard things. The president stated that he is the president for all Americans before continuing to blast those who preferred his opponent. MAGA Republicans do not respect the Constitution, do not believe in rule of law. Where the f what the fuck is he talking about? That sounds like he's talking about Antifa and Democrats. They did not recognize the will of the people and refused to accept... Will of the people is a very good song, by the way, and uh, Tim Cast here has made a great song called Will of the People. Go and check it out. Uh, they did not recognize the will of the people and refused to accept the results of a free election. What are you fucking talking about? You guys denied... He won the election in the first place. You guys were screaming that Hillary won and that he cheated. And then you said that Russia helped him, which turned out to be a load of bullshit. And it turns out he was the one fucking meddling with Russia. Jesus. And they are working right now, as I speak, in a state after state to give power to the side elections in America, to partisans and cronies empowering election deniers and undermining democracy itself. Just like how you go and uh, send FBI to Donald Trump's house and raid him. 
Trump supporters, Biden said, are a threat to this very soul of the country. MAGA forces are determined to take this country backwards, backwards to an America where there is no right to choose, no right to privacy, no right to privacy. There hasn't been right to privacy since 9-11 in the US. No right to contraception, no right to marry who you love. No. What if you love your mother? Are you going to marry her or corn pop, you know? He continued, they promote authoritarian leaders. Authoritarian leaders. He's fucking talking about himself. Literally. There is no right to choose, no privacy. They promote authoritarian leaders. They have fanned the flames of political violence. That is what you're doing. You've just declared war on 75, 80 million people in the US. You've just declared war on 80 million gun-carrying fucking Republicans in the US. Speaking of the American citizens who protested at the Capitol on January 6th, Biden called them insurrectionists, placing a dagger at the throat of our democracy. Democracy manifest. Biden cited respected conservatives, Circuit Court Judge Michael Lutwig, saying that Trump and extreme MAGA Republicans are a clear and present danger to our democracy. I think he's been reading too many fucking Tom Clancy novels. I don't think he can read, actually. I think someone might read him bedtime stories. Latig, whatever it is, is a CNN contributor who served on the U.S. Court of Appeals of the Fourth Circuit for 15 years after being appointed by George W. Bush. Before bringing up the deadly Charlottesville rally in 2017, Biden said that the nation is a point where the Americans need to choose to move forward or to move backwards, to build a future or obsess about the past. <clears throat> We're all called to duty by a constants and confront extremists who put their own pursuit of power above all else. Democrats, independents, mainstream Republicans must be stronger, more determined, and more committed to saving American democracy than MAGA Republicans are to destroying American democracy, Biden said. We, the people, will not let anyone or anything tear us apart. He is screaming for civil war. And then the next day he comes out and they ask him, why did you just declare war on 80 million Americans? And he's like, what? I didn't say anything. So that is why pedo Hitler is uh, trending on Twitter today and over the last couple of days. Pedo Hitler, I mean, look at the fucking, look at the screen grabs there. Isn't that just, imagine if that was Trump. Holy shit, would they be losing it? I know a few people who would um, have a bit of a meltdown. Look at this. Oh, Mr. T. And then... <laughs> I'm sure that image has been fucked with slightly, but Jesus Christ. That's funny. Pedo... <laughs> I love the memes. Hey, my fascist. <laughs> Sie golden heimen. Sie glieben. Sie schau belieben. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. This is this is fantastic. Twitter is amazing some days. Now, of course, Biden can't ride a bike, but he's going to ride the country into a fucking civil war. And we will see where that gets him. Thanks for watching our video. Please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel here at Crossing the Line. And I'll see you guys next time. Because we want retribution. Oh, yeah, we want retribution!